Hey guys, I know I'm looking a hot mess. I feel like a hot mess. But I just want to come on here and tell a testimony. Um, this testimony is a life long testimony because we go through so much every day. I know I do. I go through so much every day. I know most of my family is dead and I don't have nobody that I could call or depend on. My kids never had godparents. Um, they don't even know what aunts and uncles are. They don't see aunts and uncles. My daughter asked me not too long ago, what is a cousin? She, Because she didn't know. Um, so the only family they know is me. And they know their dad. But at the end of the day, they know that when me and their dad go through it and he leaves, all they got is me. I have five children. I have my oldest that's in the army. And I have my four youngest. And all they have is to depend on me. To depend on me. And I know, like, I don't think about it. But every day that I wake up is a true, true blessing. It is, in fact, a true blessing. And we, we wake up and we say, oh, thank God for waking us up this morning. But we really don't pay attention to the true message in that. And... I get to see my kids every day, and that is a true statement. Right now, as you can see, I'm at, I don't know if you can see that, at the Center of Sleep Disorders. And I've been diagnosed with a sleep disorder, sleep apnea. And I know that a lot of you guys, um, you know, probably heard of sleep apnea. Some people probably got it. Um, but you don't know how severe it is and you probably don't trip off of it. You say, okay, so it's a sleep disorder. Let me actually break it down to you and why I am so grateful and so thankful that I wake up every day. So, um, I know that for years I snore and I never really thought nothing about it but recently my kids been telling me okay mom you snore so bad that you'll wake a person up you snore so bad that you can hear you down the street you know and I said oh okay well I'll you know get it done but a couple times I almost got into a car accident where I fell asleep behind the wheel um, and I had to pull over a couple times as well that the State Farm guy knows me by name. And he comes to knock on my window to wake me up. Um, here lately, when my kids come home from school, I'm trying to help them with their schoolwork. And I'm falling asleep helping them. I'm falling asleep while I'm on the phone texting. I'm falling asleep while I'm talking to people. I'm falling asleep when I'm reading. I took the insurance exam. I got 22 licenses and two degrees and I don't really mean to go off and go on the other stuff but I just want y'all to understand how severe this is um I didn't go to school for um insurance but I wanted to do property and casualty insurance and so I said okay, I'm gonna study a little bit and I'm gonna go and usually because I did with my senior I got a class A with Tinker and hazmat endorsement I never went to school I just studied I, I just looked at the book went in there and took the test and that's what I thought I was doing with this exam uh, property casualty exam um, and it's been really hard for me because for the last month or so I took the exam five times and I keep failing and I keep falling asleep while I'm in the exam and that is just not me that hurts so bad that I could not pass the exam so I could you know, make more money and make a better life for my kids but to go back to the sleep thing um i noticed that with the stuff that's been happening within the last couple months that it has gotten real bad so i just did a sleep study and um at my appointment i told the doctor i told the doctor that i needed the machine and they said that i wasn't gonna be able to get the machine till january so I did the sleep study and they told me I needed to come in first the doctor called me she said I need to talk to you about your sleep study and I was like okay I'm pretty sure she needs to talk to me about it because um 
you know, it probably was bad. And so then I had a doctor follow up appointment. So I, I'm just leaving the follow up appointment right now. And when I tell you, it's nothing but God that's keeping me to wake me up every day. The doctor told me that I stopped breathing in my sleep 140.9 times an hour. And I sleep for six or seven hours. So can you imagine how many times I stopped breathing? And she said, and your oxygen level goes all the way down. I'd be this close to death. And if I was to die, I think about my kids. Who would take my kids? Who would watch my kids? Who would be there for my kids? And like, that's the most important thing to me in my life. It's my kids. And I'm like, I cannot imagine what they would go through if I wasn't here or what they would be able to do you know and it's nothing but the grace of God nothing but God that's keeping me alive and keeping me here to be here for my kids they said it's so bad that they need to get my machine today and they cannot wait no longer because if I wait any longer, it's a possibility I'm going to be dead. So when you wake up in the morning, don't just don't say, I thank God for waking me up this morning. Praise him. Praise him with all you have. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him with the temper and dance. Praise him with the string of organs. Praise him with everything, with all your breath. Because of God, I have breath to praise the Lord. Because I mean, at any point, it could be my last breath. And, and I won't be here anymore. And I just heard about somebody dying from sleep apnea. And I said, oh, wow, that's crazy. I got sleep apnea, but I'm good. I got to start being serious about my health and exercising and take this serious. Because I have children to live for. And not only do I have children to live for, I have people out there counting on me. And I don't want to be in my casket. And y'all look at me and say, you had something in you that I needed. And now I can't get it because you didn't take care of yourself or because you're dead. So, with this day forward, I'm going to praise you, the Lord. I'm also going to take care of myself and make sure that I'm healthy enough to sustain life and be here with my children. I just wanted to share that with y'all, what I'm going through today.